Hey everybody, I hope you are doing well. Today in this video, as you can probably tell from the title, we are going to do another come book shopping with me vlog. I know, I know it hasn't been that long since my last one, but last week I went to Paris, which is also the reason why I didn't upload anything last week because I needed that little break. And I went on a trip to Paris with my mother and it was just so much fun. We went shopping, we did a bit of sightseeing and we had lots and lots of delicious food. And it was just such a nice, vacation but because i was in paris i also visited shakespeare and company which is a very famous bookshop there it's an english bookshop i think it's around 70 years old it's quite an old one it's a very famous one so i just had to visit that one because <laughs> in case you don't know i do really love books and i do really love bookshops i wasn't planning on filming anything i wasn't planning on well i was planning on buying something but not as much as i ended up buying but then i went inside and it was just beautiful so amazing it was gorgeous the atmosphere was amazing and i had to film a little bit because i just couldn't help myself i had to document this wonderful visit because wow i loved it so much and that is why today we have a little come book shopping vlog with me in paris so yeah i am filming this intro a week afterwards because i was not planning on filming this video at all but i just it just happened and i really hope you will enjoy it also i haven't filmed anything else in Paris apart from that because I really just wanted to focus on having fun and relaxing and having a good time but I did film my visit to Shakespeare and Company so yeah I will now cut into the footage of me going there and of the bookshop so I hope you all enjoy it and then afterwards I will show you what I bought but for now come book shopping with me in Paris Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed that footage. I realized it might not be the longest come book shopping with me vlog, but I hope you get the experience. And again, I enjoyed my time there so much. It was just amazing and beautiful. And I wish I could go there again because oh, if you're ever in Paris, please go to Shakespeare and Company because you will love it. It is amazing. But now, of course, it is time for a little book haul because I also bought some books whilst I was there. I ended up buying three books. And to be honest, there was more that I wanted to buy. But I also realized that I had to 
carry it myself and take it with me to my home here in the Netherlands. So I sort of had to restrain myself. But yeah, I bought three books and the uh, overall theme of this book haul is that with none of these books, I had ever heard about them before. So these books were all completely new and strange to me. And that's what I enjoyed about it so much. Just pick up some books that I'd never heard about before. So yeah, let's just get into it and do a book haul. The first book is The Margot Affair by Sané Limon. Probably mispronouncing that, but I'm guessing it is a French author. Um, this book is about a girl named Margot who lives in Paris, which I thought would make it very suitable to buy it in Paris. But this girl, Margot, she is the secret child of a very famous or like a very influential French politician. She's like the secret a child that nobody knows that he has. And her mother is an actress and she lives a very interesting life, I guess. And then this book is about Margot, her life. And I'm not really sure what is going to happen after that, but that's sort of the idea of it. So yeah, as I said, um, I bought this book basically because it takes place in Paris and also it was very prominently featured throughout the entire bookstore. I've never seen it before. I've never heard about it before, but it sounded very suitable to buy in Paris as it's so connected to it. And I'm somebody who always has a lot of like, I have very emotional relationships with the books that I buy. But if I buy something on a trip in another country, I like it to be sort of connected to that trip. And this book is exactly that. So a book that takes place in Paris, in France, and that is all about that. So yeah, I know that I will just very much enjoy it. Uh, at least I hope so. The premise also sounded interesting. And what is also fun with Shakespeare and Company is that you can have your book stamped. So you can have this stamp of Shakespeare and Company in it. They ask you if you want to do that. And of course I wanted to do that because then I can remember it and know that these are the books that I bought in this bookstore on this trip. So yeah, this is the first one that I bought. Very interested to see what it's all about. Again, never heard about it before. The next book that I bought is Betty by Tiffany McDaniel. And apparently this book is based on a true story. It's about a girl slash woman named Betty. And the back says that born in a bathtub in 1954, to a white mother and a Cherokee father, Betty inhabits a world of poverty and loss of lush landscapes and blazing stars. So this book is about her life, uh, which apparently is difficult in a lot of ways. And uh, the beginning of the book or like the short intro actually says that the author of this book is the daughter of Betty. So it's all based on a true story. Again, not much about the story that I know apart from that, but that is how I usually prefer it. I just want to know the general premise and then I want to experience it for myself. But I do love life stories like that, especially when they are true, when they're based on true life. Uh, so that sounded very interesting to me. And that is why this book grabbed my attention. Um, yeah, Betty, it sounds very interesting. I cannot wait to delve into it and to see what Betty's life was about and how it was, you know, I just really want to see what happened to her and how it was. And that just sounds like a book that I will really enjoy. And then the last book that I bought is Luck and Boot by Jenny Fagan. And this is probably the weirdest out of all of them, which is exactly why I bought that because the premise of this book sounds so weird. I'm just going to read it to you because I don't know how to explain it otherwise. It's 1910 in Edinburgh and Jessie, the devil's daughter, arrives on the doorstep of an imposing tenement building and knocks on a freshly painted wooden door. She has been sent by her father, who is the devil, to bear a child for a wealthy couple. But when things go wrong, she places a curse on the building and all who live there. And it lasts a century. So it's about this house, which is Luck and Boots Close. And it's about the people who live there, I guess. This sounds so weird to me and kind of original. And I'm so curious to see what it's actually about. That is, again, exactly why I picked it up. Like, I read the premise and I was like, I need to know what is this is going to be how it's going to happen and um yeah that's basically it it sounds like it's going to be an interesting story and also like it's going to be a story that like goes through the years which is something that i always really enjoy um i mean it says it lasts a century starting in 1910 so you know uh, sounds like i'm in for an adventure and i also really like how the cover looks because it is pretty and yeah again as i mentioned like 10 times before already, uh, a book that I know nothing about. I've never heard about it. And I hope that I will enjoy it. So um, yeah, 
those were the books that I bought in Paris at Shakespeare and Company. I really hope you enjoyed this little video, this book haul, this book shopping vlog. Now that I'm back from my vacation, I'm really excited to make more content again and make more videos. So I really hope I can get back to I can get back to a normal uploading schedule now. Uh, but yeah, I really needed a break. And I know you guys are always really understanding of things like that. So thank you for that. And I'm very excited to read all of these books. And yeah, I just, again, had a really great time. It's nice to be away for a little while for the first time in ages. And um, yeah, I just had a wonderful time. And yeah, again, this was it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you want to see more bookish content by me, you can always subscribe or you can give this video a like, leave a comment. Please let me know in the comments if you've ever been to a special, unique bookshop like that or if you've ever been to... Shakespeare and Company in particular or another bookshop that is really beautiful. I love to hear bookshop stories. Um, yeah, I always really, really love to go bookshopping as you can probably tell with the increasing amount of bookshopping vlogs on this channel. But yeah, again, really hope you have enjoyed this video and then hopefully I will see you again very soon in uh, my next one, hopefully. And until then, bye!